Hey guys, this is the Wrestling God Mike Smith, and you guys are watching All in Wrestling. And before I begin my video, I would like to apologize. I'm sorry, I've I've been very busy in my life as uh, normal YouTubers are. But anyway, this video is going to cover everything what I saw from Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and the predictions for Royal Rumble. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is going to be Raw because after what I've seen and after. What they're trying to do, and here's the thing, I, like I told you with the Raw thing, with the Finn Balor, like, the Brock Lesnar thing, I just feel like they've been stuffing it down our throats so much that I, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the fact that WWE creative is not really using their talent. SmackDown is doing good over there, but they just, it's like, see, and here's the thing that I think is going to happen. Sorry, I guess what I think is going to happen is they're going to lose people. People, Some people are going to go to all elite wrestling and get paid more there than WWE because the fact that they just they actually got Chris Jericho to do it and the WWE is not really trying to pay them because he's like he's kind of like a relic like John Cena would be because John Cena, like I see him doing a lot in the WWE, but I really don't see him doing a lot. And then it's like, well... Where do we really put John? Because he's not a bad guy, but where do we really put him? And then here's the thing I don't understand, right? Here's the thing I don't get. See, where do we, like, and this is what Raw needs to do, and they have systematically, same thing with WWE needs to do, has systematically failed at every attempt to bring satisfaction to WWE Universe and the fans. Because Lacey Evans coming out on Raw was the dumbest thing I've seen in a long time. And not that I don't really, I don't mind everybody coming out of retirement or, you know, or Trish making a surprise entrance. She wins the Royal Rumble and then she wins it. And then, they, you know, she gets the women's champion, which is cool. I get that. that that's a cool thing. But here's the thing that gets me, right? Nia's going to go to SmackDown and try to take on Alexa, try to take on, uh... Becky Lynch, because she needs that 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 redemption thing for her getting punched and like her beating you know punching her in the face and I get that but it's kind of a weak reason and then it's like now because twenty nineteen is kind of bringing everybody in for the new year it's everybody's gonna get kind of jumpy for it and this is the thing I'm talking about because. Like, where is Ty... Like, here's, a like, a suggesting point. Where is Ty Dillinger? Because I haven't seen that dude in, like, maybe a cup, almost a year since he got called up to SmackDown. Because I haven't seen him. And that's the real truth. I haven't seen him. And then, and you know, and then... What, what really kind of surprises me is that all legal wrestling is actually doing the same thing that he's doing. But they're doing it in a completely different way. Because they're trying to get everybody they can get to with the lucrative deal, they're not going to force Kenny to, and see, and this is the thing too, everybody thinks that Kenny Omega is going to come to the Royal Rumble, he's going to be the elite, which I get to a hand. But here's the reason why that won't really work. Vince is not going to let Cody and, and, and Kenny and the Young Bucks take over WWE like they can. He's not going to let them do what they do because the Indies is different from what they believe in. And because they'll probably stay in New Japan for another year to, to get that balance out to make sure Bullet Club stays the way it is before they actually leave. And that's the thing. They don't want to, they don't, they, if they go to WWE, right? They could have went to WWE a long time ago. And I, and I get the reason why they're not going to go. Because the they're not gonna go because Vince isn't Vince isn't really gonna give them that lucrative deal. They're gonna get like maybe like half a mil to go or a hundred mil each performer gets like a hundred mil when they sign up. And this is the thing I'm talking about. They are not gonna make enough money for them to do anything because Cody Rhodes leaving was the idea for him to grow as a wrestler, and I get that. But Kenny's too good. He'll be he'll he'll be WWE champion in a year. He would be. And the thing is what I mean by that, because this is just recapping everything that I've seen and all the stuff I've been researching, guys. Listen, and I'm going to hit you guys with something very truthful. The WWE doesn't care. 
The WWE rather you be a sucker because the thing is, they'll hire you and they'll put you in NXT. And NXT is the greatest way to, to get somebody, but not if they're good. See, and this is the thing that was supposed to happen with Nikki. And this is what they did. They said, oh, forget about sanity. We're just going to put you in Raw because the women's division has to be strong on Raw just as SmackDown is. But it's not, though. That was a waste. The call up for like, like Lacey Evans, I just don't see her doing it. I don't see her winning. I just don't. She's not the guy. She is not the woman to win it. She is not because because Charlotte's gonna get a she's gonna get a rematch and she's gonna go after it. It's either Becky or Charlotte's gonna go after Ronda and it's gonna play out in a triple threat because Charlotte is going to want to go down there. She's gonna want to go to WrestleMania, and Vince McMahon's really not gonna give a shit because that's only the reason he came out was to tell everybody I'm still in power, I can still make the decisions. And he's trying to make a joint brand, which I get to a point. But here's the thing that I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see the fact of them running the, the show. They're running the WWE into the fucking ground. And the joke is that they're trying to get so much talent. And they don't even get it. Because Ricochet is great. And that's the thing. They're using him as the buffer. They're using him. They're going to get Gianni Gorgano. And that's what I was talking about in my Raw review with the Universal title scene. Because I want that title to change so many hands that it should have changed already. Brock should not be Universal Champion in 29 fucking teen. Because you know why? He shouldn't be... He shouldn't, because this dude should have dropped the title. And this is the point. To a guy who doesn't show up on the title scene, who doesn't show up and make a decision, they are negotiating his contract every year, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of him coming out. And I'm sick of him thinking he's going to keep making money because he has that title. And it's the same disappointingly show that they've been trying to do for the last 16 years with him being there. And he started at 25. Really, dude. So you left, went to UFC, made a killing over there, and then you're going to come back to be this monster. And I get, I get the joke. I get it. I get it, but... I'm I'm just tired of the same disappointing shit. It disappoints me. It disappoints me because the fact is everybody puts this little box in and because of the thing I'm so I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed that they are not like I said. Here's how I think my predictions are going to go. Here's what I think is going to happen in fu- and the Royal Rumble cuz we're 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 there. And I should have did this last week, but I'm going to do this this week. The first thing that's going to happen, one, one, Braun Strowman wins the Royal Rumble. Two, he beats Brock Lesnar for the Universal title, meaning that Finn, Finn's going to, like, meaning that Finn is going to beat Brock, but Finn can get the title and defend his title because the joke is he would win because Brock doesn't win. Braun to get in the mix, they'd rather have Finn because he's not really a challenge. They'll just he'll get thrown around a bit, he'll lose, then he'll go in the Royal Rumble because that's how it's gonna happen. They're, he's gonna be able to go, so he would be able to win a ter- he would win a title shot again against Brock. That would be the rematch thing to go to WrestleMania. See, then we could get Finn versus Lesnar, and then we can get Finn versus Strowman, and then we can get Finn. Like, all these other dudes that we can get. Maybe we can get Finn versus AJ if we get around to it. If they do it right. That is the point. That is the thing. He has gotten a little bit better. He's not as arrogant when he first came. It's okay. That's the first thing. The second thing. Ronda and Asuka crossing paths at WrestleMania. That's going to happen. Because Asuka's going to win again. Because the thing she already has, that if she... If she retains the title, right? She retains it, right? She'll win. That means Ronda can go to SmackDown and challenge her. Meaning that the baddest woman on the planet will face the Empress of Tomorrow, which would actually work because that actually would make a lot of sense to do because that would bring a hype and that would bring ratings up even to SmackDown if Asuka actually beats Ronda Rousey and becomes a undisputed women's champion because we never had that. We've had men, but never a woman's champion. 
never a universe, a undisputed women's champion reign. That's something that can be possible now because we have two women's champions. See, and that's what should have happened two years ago prior to Ronda Rousey's thing. And that was the thing. It should have happened two years ago. And this is what WWE consistently fails to do. And this is the third thing I'm going to talk about. The third thing is NXT brings their titles to the main roster. And the people that have come from NXT fight on the main roster for those titles just like on NXT. Because the thing is, I keep, I see, and I don't, I don't like to use this, but here's what I see, right? I'm going to give you guys a reference. Remember when, remember when, uh, I'll tell you this. Remember when Randy Orton first debuted? And he get he first debuted against uh, Hardcore Holly, and then it was that. Then he got the Intercontinental ti- he got the Intercontinental title, and I think he got it from Rob Van Dam. And then right at the time, I think Rob Van Dam was gonna fight Randy for it, but Evolution kind of interrupted him. See, see, this is what I mean. The reference is they don't never really think because I'm not, I have a lot of references, guys. I'm sorry, but see, this is what should have happened with WWE because this is what. I kind of blame this time, this kind of like this time period now, this period where we're just called like the new, like called the champ, I guess the, the champions era right now. And because everybody has a paradox, everybody's trying to enter in some way that actually kind of works to them. But realism is that nobody really thinks about what can happen. Because I think what's going to end up happening Seth is going to go to SmackDown and get tired of being on Raw because there's not enough challengers for him. And because he wants Brock and because they want him, and that's the thing. They want Brock. They want people to let him have a title. And that's something he could have had, but he wanted to be Triple H's lap dog, and he sees it. And you know what's funny? They are trying so systematically, and I use this word in retrospect, that they are trying to build a champion from Brock, and they cannot do it with him. He is not the championship image you guys want to have on that show because he can't be built. The dude, it's like it's remotely stupid that the guy doesn't show up every night because the thing he's gonna he's gonna show up at the Royal Rumble this Sunday because the Royal Rumble is the biggest event in the year. That's the funny thing about it. And then we still have to think about what to do before the going home show. Before basically last week's going home show before Mania hat before. The Royal Rumble happens, it's going to be the same thing before Mania. They're going to use all that time to build up those stories, to build up those rivalries. And see, this is what NXT is going to do. NXT is going to one-up it a bit. Because the thing is, UK has got to one-up it. So that means their takeover has got to come into play. Which means they can do it at Blackpool at the same time they can do the Royal Rumble. Because people from UK, NXT can UK come to NXT. It's possible. I probably, I, I would think. Because, I mean, look. I, I mean this, like... <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I mean this perfectly. NXT is the same thing. Now that Johnny Gargano is becoming the heel that we want, he and Tommaso Ciampa went after Ricochet, which was cool. Because you know what? Maybe this is something they need, both of them need for their career. And that's the thing about the Undisputed Era. The Undisputed Era could come in and do the same exact thing to the War Raiders, that means they can come in and let's see, if Johnny joins them, that means he's going to enter in some way and the Undisputed Era would be undisputed because Adam Cole would probably teach him the ropes and teach him how to kind of get into the fold because that's something they need to be. They can be evil and they can walk in there and be heels and everybody would still like them because they're not becoming faces. That was the thing he needed to push. And that's the point because WWE doesn't WWE has this, this 